See, because you're not going to see that in another movie. The Bob Ross one! Oh, I know what this is. It's Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool? Mm. Oh, Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool 2? I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I think this might be one of the only sequels that won't be bad. Actually, that may have been me. Oh, you're living the dreams, DP. Yeah. Devil me care attitude. So I assume this is, uh... Spider-Man. Strong guys. Looks like Spider-Man, but that's you not quite man. his outfit. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us ever again. He's such a good Deadpool, oh my god. There you go. Love it. My man Cable. My name's Cable. It's weird, he's villains kid. in two Marvel movies. What? I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? Move or die. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> best part. I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. Of course, gotta have a little keep up with somebody off. That's funny, comedy. Did you speak up? It's hard to hear you with that pity d in your mouth. <laughs> We're gonna form a super duper fucking group. Okay, so there's no reading on this one. Top. Morally flexible. Terry Crews, an old girl from Atlanta. We will be known as X Force. Isn't that a little derivative? Yo, is that Vanessa from Atlanta? I've been here for years. I'm rocking my feet. What the fuck does it be? I'm making the tears. I am so excited for this. Tell me they got that in slow motion. Yes. That needed to be in slow motion. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right... The gore in these movies is also a driving point. One of the main reasons I watch it. See, because you're not going to see that in another movie. You have to fight dirty. Too much violence. And that is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, it's got a point. I wish I finished college. Yes. Great sense of humor, too, for a superhero. It lives up to the hype. Plus, plus. Fuck it. They probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it, too. You killed it. <laughs> that looks amazing. That sounds like a movie I want to watch. I'm in. I'm in. They already got my money. I don't know what I'm supposed to say other than I'm not the target market for this stuff. So that's the latest trailer for Deadpool 2. I think we've been waiting for this for the longest. So Deadpool 1 has come out. Didn't see it. Deadpool's become known for its unique teasers and trailers. We even showed one to the college kids last year. So we have a few more teasers to show you now. Oh, I hope it's the Bob Ross one. It's so genius. It really is. People think they understand pain. It starts out like a trailer. But they have no Is this the one where it. they haven't green screened it out? What's the most pain you've ever felt? The teddy bear is great. Maybe the kind that leaves you more machine than man. Wait, no. It's Stop. green screen. What in the actual a <laughs> Dale, why, why, why are the visual effects not done? It's a metal arm. It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache. <laughs> oh, Maybe that's super myself. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. Reach for the sky. Toy Story comes in. Oh no, Sheriff Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff Deadpool. He's wearing the Woody getup. No biting. They're done already? <laughs> okay. I love it. That was great. Who doesn't want to see that? And who doesn't want to see this? Your time's up, you dumb f Well, that's just lazy writing. <laughs> love it. It's definitely very unique trailers. It's so brilliant. It's so smart and well done. Oh my God. The Bob Ross one. It's Bob Ross. Getting wet on what the devil. Hello, Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Let's just drive right in. And I wish I had that afro. Across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. I have my regular old. Let's grab our trusty two inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Just whacking uh, off his two inch brush. I like that part. Now, let's just dance in a happy little. It doesn't spot. seem like it's Remember, the same film at all. It's your world. You get to make and break the rules here. <laughs> It's so creative. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> it's a really great representation of the movie, too, because the movie's super self-aware, and I think the teasers are very self-aware. 
love it. Look, Look at that right. ensemble cast. I think we have ourselves a finished painting. So from our family to yours, keep your pants dry, your dreams wet, and <laughs> Your pants dry, <laughs> your dreams wet. And remember, hugs, not drugs. <laughs> I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. Beautiful. They have like an amazing like marketing team. This is my kind of superhero. A little tongue and cheeky. That's so good. That was my, f I'm gonna go home and watch that again. Well, many people initially praised Deadpool for using unconventional marketing tactics and creating original footage like we showed you to market the film instead of using more traditional trailers, which at times can spoil parts of the movie. Well, that's a terrific ploy to get people to watch it because they don't know exactly what's going on. However, now they've released a full trailer which does contain moments from the movie. Do you think they should have kept releasing the more untraditional trailers, or was it a good idea to show all these scenes from the actual film? I think Deadpool is non-traditional, so going the non-traditional route is the way to go. He's already got such a big audience around him already that he doesn't need all that. I think it uh, should stick to its own style. There's millions of people out there in the world. There's enough people that can gravitate to that. It's kind of a bummer that they went, on, I think, that they went in that direction and didn't just, like, you know, really keep it fresh and pristine. I guess it makes sense that they're trying to reach everybody they possibly can because they have limited who can see it. All the like unconventional ones, like they're really funny and they definitely grab your attention, but you know, you also kind of want to see like a normal trailer too, see a few clips from the movie because I mean, it doesn't really spoil anything. They needed to show a trailer just to be like, okay, we're like still a movie. Just to appeal to people that aren't really, they don't really like that sense of advertising or they're not used to it. Just for like the casual movie goer, you need to hit that audience too. So superhero movies in general have seen their popularity and quality fluctuate over time and they're arguably now at their peak. Well, I hope the peak is about to be turned and start on the downhill, but you're right. I think it will eventually fizzle out, but right now it's like the, the hottest thing. So for you personally, how have you seen the evolution of superhero movies over the course of your lifetime? It went from like, please give us superhero movies, please, 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 oh my God, they're doing it, they're doing it, to where now it's so formulaic. We need to start getting innovative, and they are. We have shows like Legion, movies like Deadpool, things that are, they're trying to do, they're trying to change it up on us. I started with like Justice League as a, as a little kid that I watched cartoons on a, you know, a weekend morning. It wasn't this crazy blockbuster thing. When I was young, they had a few superheroes. They had Superman. It was crap. It wasn't as colorful. It was much lower budget. Now they're spending tons of money on this. When I was little, I watched Tobey Maguire and um, Spider-Man and to literally see what that has come to, like between the three actors, like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, uh, Tom Holland, and to see like how it's it's progressed is, is really cool. Once it started to like, they started to connect movies together, like how they did the MCU and the DC uh, universe, that changed the whole ball game. The original Spider-Man kicked it off and people noticed that like, wow, superhero movies can make a ton of money with these big budgets. Marvel was really smart, they're like, what if we start combining these heroes and then they have some of the highest grossing movies of all time? So finally, as this is Generations React, we have teens, college kids, adults, and elders all in this episode. Mm -hmm. Damn, what are the elders saying about this? Which generation do you think will be the most excited to see this movie? Well, I'd love to claim it for the adults, but I don't know if I can. I feel like as a, uh, as a teenager, I would be totally stoked about it. The teens. From college kids to teens they're gonna be the most excited. College kids, because I feel like that's kind of the age group that like, you know, knows Deadpool. College kids, for sure. A lot of college kids are talking about this right now. I know people are gonna go watch this. Millennials, 35 and under market, that's what they're shooting for. It's more relatable and, and funnier to people my age, but I definitely think it can target everyone. I would say adults, because adults could, for one, easily get in, two, they kind of seen the development of superhero movies. It's like they get to compare and have fun with it. College kids and teens, this is this is their movie. Just because Deadpool's so much fun, maybe even adults, but I feel like a lot of adults it'll cross a line where they're like, ugh, where teens and college kids are like, ah, oh, it, whatever. This is it's supposed to be fun. Thanks for watching this episode of Generations React. Subscribe and shout out to Paul Bryan and Jinx. Let us know in the comments if you'd like seeing all the generations together like this. Hey, you made it to the end of the video where that FBE staff member comes out and awkwardly tells you to subscribe or leave a comment below. Well, jokes on you. I'm just going to stare at you till the video's over.